Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Irma Berry Scott on a Tuesday morning. Bless the name of Jesus. It's Tuesday again, y'all. Glory to God. And the Lord has blessed us to see another week. Amen. And we are glad about it. Uh, we bless the Lord. Somebody say, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Now, somebody ought to help me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Why? Because he's done great things. Somebody help me say, he's done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. Amen. We are here uh, uh, um, to um, bless the Lord. We're here to give a word from the Lord. Welcome to Overcoming with Pastor Irma. And we are here, amen, on this great Tuesday morning after um, Thanksgiving. Amen. This is the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, and we are glad. Not only is it the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, but if we look at the calendar, it tells us it is December the 1st. Lord have mercy. 2020. Lord have mercy. Uh, 2020 came in. Uh, in January, Lord have mercy, and it seems like it has been turbulence all year long. It has been one thing after another. Lord have mercy with the death of Kobe Bryant. Lord have mercy with the death of George Floyd, uh, Breonna Taylor, Black Lives Matter. Y'all not going to help me today uh, uh, with uh, the pandemic, churches being shut down. Lord, have, the earth realm being shut down. Lord have mercy uh, uh, with things dark. Oh, Lord have mercy with people dying um, of this disease, this virus. Uh, things have been happening. A lot of sorrow. Lord have mercy. Bishops and apostles have gone on to meet the Lord this year. Lord have mercy uh, at an alarming rate. Lord have mercy. But we thank God that on this first day of December, the last month of this year, Lord, have, the Lord has blessed us, Lord have mercy, to still be standing. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, through many dangers, toils, and snares, this year we have already come, Lord have mercy, but it was grace that brought us safe thus far. Somebody ought to help me say, and it's going to be grace that's going to lead us on. Lord have mercy. I put on my Facebook status. Somehow we made it. Lord have mercy. Somehow we made it, y'all. Through it all. Oh, God. Uh, a loss of job. Lord have mercy. Not having income to pay bills by food. Lord have mercy. But through it all, God, Lord have mercy, brought us through. Somehow we made it. <laughs> Somehow, Lord have mercy, some way we made it through. The grace of God undergirded us. The grace of God uplifted us. The grace of God carried us through the challenges of 2020. Lord have mercy. If we made it this far, we gonna trust God to lead us the next 30 days. Help me, Holy Ghost. Woo, that we will make it to 2021. Lord have mercy. Somebody ought to tell God, thank you. He brought us through. Lord have mercy. I don't know what your 2020 was like, but mine's was hectic. Mine, Lord have mercy. Mine, re my year revealed some things to me about me. Lord have mercy. Where I was 
in the Lord. Lord, have mercy where I was. Lord, have mercy in my emotions. Lord, y'all not going to help me where I was. Lord, have mercy in my mind frame. Lord, have mercy. Things that I thought I had gotten over. Lord, have mercy. Isolation will make you think about some stuff. Lord, have mercy. Isolation will make you resolve some issues. Help me, Jesus. Yeah, but through it all, who God brought me through. Lord, have mercy. And I can say, like um, Pastor, uh, um, Lord, have mercy. Um, um, that sings the song that I'm wiser. Lord, have mercy. And I'm better, so much better. Lord, have mercy. Uh, I know more of who I am. And I know more of who God is. Lord have mercy. This year has been a year. Lord have mercy. That we could see who we really are. Lord have mercy. There are some things that we needed to work on. Some things that Marvin Sapp. Thank you uh, Cherie. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, there are some things that we uh, needed to level off in our own spirit. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, there are some things in us that we needed to uh, uh, bring back to the plumb line. Lord have mercy. Sure up the foundation. Help me, Holy Ghost, today. Lord, have mercy. So I pray, I pray that when we reflect on this year, Lord, we can see the goodness and the grace of God. We won't look back and just see sorrow, but we'll see God's mercy and God's hand on our lives. Lord, have mercy. We made it to this 12th month of the year 2020. Lord, have mercy. Uh, we might not be where we thought we were going to be. Lord, have mercy, but we made progress. Lord, have mercy. We not where we were January the 1st. We not where we were. Lord, have mercy on December 2019. Y'all not going to help me. But we made some progress. Some fruit has, Lord, have mercy, sprouted on our tree. Y'all not going to help me up in here today. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, 2020 has made us mature, has made us grow has made us come to ourselves. Lord have mercy. Some of us was in the pig pen and we didn't even know it. Lord have mercy. But 2020 made us come to our, y'all, help me here. Lord, it made us come to ourselves. Lord have mercy and get to a place in God where God can use us, where God can get the glory from us. Lord have mercy. I pray that you have uh, 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 seen yourself in this year. Lord have mercy. And God has pushed you forward. God has uh, brought you to a new place. God has uh, uh, revealed to you uh, some things that we can do uh, not only better, but we can be right. Lord have mercy in him. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We are continuing our series on today, the Ten Commandments. Lord have mercy. If you had noticed, seem like this year, we have just gone back to the basics. Lord have mercy. Um, even doing uh, 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 Easter, Lord have mercy, we talked about foundational things. We talked about, oh, Lord have mercy. We talked about the seven churches. We've talked about all kinds of things that God is trying to speak into our spirit. Lord have mercy. We even got on the love train this year. We had to go back and reevaluate our love one for another. Lord have mercy. Loving ourselves. Loving God. Lord have mercy. Then we can learn how to love other folk. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, we've gone back to the basics. We're about our salvation, about the Holy Ghost. Y'all not helping me? Uh, we've even talked about the book, what the minister says to, uh, what the Bible says to the minister. Lord have mercy. And now we've talked about uh, 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 the Ten Commandments. On last time we met, 
uh, know what last time we met. Last time we met, we had a Thanksgiving message. Lord have mercy, but on last Tuesday, we t did the first five Ten Commandments out of Exodus chapter 20. Lord have mercy. We got to go back to the Bible, y'all. We have allowed the world to pervert the word of God. Lord have mercy. They done added their two cents to it. What they think about it. How they feel about it. Lord have mercy. We don't have to be led by the Ten Commandments no more. Lord have mercy. Jesus came to, uh, and he did away with it. No, he came and fulfilled it. So we can Lord, do what the Bible teaches us to do. Lord have mercy. Now we got the Holy Ghost in us. Lord have mercy that we can, y'all not go help me today. Lord have mercy. So that we can fulfill the word of God in our lives. We can be effective witnesses. Lord have mercy. We don't have to just talk it. We can now Live it. Lord have mercy. The Ten Commandments. But we have allowed the world to come and pollute the waters of the word. Lord have mercy. The waters of the word is now stagnant. Lord have mercy. In some places it stinketh. Lord have mercy. Uh, but God is putting us back in remembrance of of his word. Help me, Holy Ghost. When he took uh, Moses up on Mount Sinai and spoke his word, I believe that was verse one, and God spake all these words saying, Lord have mercy. God spoke the word first before he wrote it on the tablet. Lord have mercy. God is still speaking to us today. Lord have mercy. He's still trying to tell us what I said in the beginning has not changed. Lord, have mercy. I change not. My word still stand. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word is going to live forever, y'all. Lord, have mercy. We got to go back to the word. It's the word that brings life to us. It's the word that's going to draw folk to the Savior. It's the word. Not how you look. Oh, you look cute. Lord, have mercy. You got, you, you got it going on. Lord, have mercy. You a snazzy dresser. Lord, have mercy. But that don't move men, Lord, have mercy, to change their lives. What changes their lives is your witness of the word. Help me, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The witness of what God has said in the earth realm living through you. That's what changes lives. That's what brings men to the Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Well, last week, we did the first Five commandments. I believe we uh, uh, ended at verse 11 with the Sabbath day. We talked about how the devil is driving us. Lord have mercy. And he won't give us rest. Lord have I don't know about you, but I've been in the place where even when I was laying down, my mind was still racing. Lord have mercy. I would lay in the bed panting. Lord have mercy. Why? Because my body couldn't rest. The devil was driving me so. Was driving. Was driving us. Lord have mercy. But God told us to remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. We ought to continue to observe it. Lord have mercy. But we at today at verse 12, verse 12, verse 12. Lord have mercy. It tells us to honor thy father and thy mother. I think I'm going to stop that right there. Honor thy mother and thy father. Honor thy father and thy mother. That is the first voice of authority that we understand when we come into this world. Lord have mercy. Mama and daddy. 
Lord have mercy. Good morning to all of you who are coming in on today. Uh, I didn't, uh, I got caught up. Lord have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, but welcome to all of you who are joining Pastor Irma on Overcoming with Pastor Irma on this morning. Honor thy father and thy mother. That is the first voice of authority. If we can't honor, if we can't obey, if we can't listen to mama and daddy, how in the world do you think people are going to listen to the, y'all not going to help me, to the policeman, Lord have mercy, to the teacher, Lord have mercy, to the uh, pastor, Lord have mercy, to those who are in authority. If they cannot honor mama and daddy first, Lord have mercy, they already got a rebellious spirit. They already got a sense of disobedience. Lord have mercy, how in the world are they going to honor a God who they cannot see when they can't listen to mama and daddy who they can see? So God says, God says, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the earth. Lord have mercy upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. This is the first commandment with promise. Lord have mercy. If you can be obedient to mama and daddy, Lord have mercy, you can reap the good of the land. Lord have mercy, you don't have to end up in jail. You don't have to end up six feet under before your time. You don't have to end up in a life of misery, in a life strung out on drugs, a life that is unproductive, ineffective, only existing in the world. If you would hear mama and daddy, a voice of experience. Mama and daddy done been through some stuff. Mama and daddy done made some bad decisions. Mama and daddy done overcome some stuff. And they can help you because they love you. They don't want you to fall in the same trap. But we think we already know it all. Lord, five years old, trying to tell mama what to do. Lord, have mercy. Five years old, raising your hand to your parents. Lord, have mercy. Woo, not in my day, not on my watch, not my child. Lord, have mercy. Look, we got to teach our children to give us honor. We got to teach our children how to respect us. Lord have mercy. From a baby on. Lord have mercy. It ain't cute for a two year old to be slapping you upside the head. That is not cute. That's a spirit of rebellion. Lord have mercy. And if you keep feeding that spirit at 14, he won't be slapping you with his hand. He gonna be stabbing you with a knife. Y'all not gonna help me up in here today. Honor. I'm trying to get off of honor. Lord have mercy, respect, listen to your father and your mother, the first voice of authority in your life. It will save you from a life of misery. Lord have mercy. He says that your light days may be long upon the land. If you hear what mom and daddy uh, have to say, Lord have mercy. You don't have to meet an untimely end. Lord have mercy. Verse number 13. Verse number, I'm going to move on. Lord have mercy. Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not murder. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, thou shall not kill. That's in the physical. That is in the spiritual. That is in the emotional. Lord have mercy. Uh, 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 thou shall not kill. We've killed a whole lot of folk 
because we don't know how to uh, 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 rule this tongue of ours. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, we know we don't physically go and kill somebody. Lord, have mercy. He does say through self-defense. Now, somebody trying to kill. One of us going to die. I'm determined it ain't going to be me. Lord, have mercy. Self-defense. That's different. And then he allowed you to... Lord have mercy to go to one of the sanctuary cities. It called it a city of refuge. If you could get to a city of refuge, you could be safe. Lord have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. But he said, thou shall not commit murder. Thou shall not kill. He didn't say, thou shall not kill the saints. He didn't say, thou shall not kill uh, 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 your brother or sisters. He didn't say, thou shalt not kill your enemy. He didn't say, thou shalt not kill. Look, he didn't make, he just said, thou shalt not kill. Period. Lord, have mercy, point blank. Lord, have mercy, enemy or foe. Lord, have mercy. Stop killing people. Lord, have mercy with your tongue. Stop killing people. Uh, 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 of their influence. Just because you don't like him doesn't mean they cannot have a good influence on other people. Lord have mercy. Your personalities may clash. Lord have mercy. But it does not mean that they cannot influence others to be good and do good. Lord have thou shall not killed. Kill. We kill people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, because we jealous. We kill people. Lord, have because we envious. Lord, have mercy. We kill people. Lord, have mercy. Because we want what they got. We want to be more influential than they are. So if I bring them down, if I destroy their character, if, I, Lord have mercy, if I make them look bad before the people, if I kill their name, their reputation, their influence, that will make me feel or look good. Thou shall not kill. Lord, have mercy. We better watch ourselves, watch our tongues, watch how we speak. Lord, have mercy about others. Lord, have mercy. We kill people emotionally. Lord, have mercy. I don't know where these preachers come with their arrogant self and then go fuss at the people. Supposed to be prophesying and you fussing. Lord, have mercy. You killing folk. Lord, have mercy. Emotionally. You killing people. You embarrassing them. You are putting them to open shame. Lord, have mercy. Killing bear spirit. Lord, have mercy. I know what I'm talking about, y'all. Lord, I, I was in a ministry where I was slowly dying. Why? Because they were killing me. Lord, I, what's that Roberta Flat saying? Killing me softly with his song. Killing me softly. Lord, have mercy. They were killing me. Lord, have mercy. The God in me was trying to raise up, was trying to lift me up, but they were steadily beating me. Lord, have mercy. Stabbing me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, uh, killing my influence. Kill, yeah, y'all not go help me. Killing me emotionally, making me feel I was worthless. God couldn't use me. Lord, have mercy. We better be careful how we treat the people of God. We can kill folk emotionally. We can kill folk spiritually. We can kill folk. Lord, have mercy. Hey, God, their influence with people. We better be careful. Thou shalt not kill. We are accountable to this word. I hope somebody hearing what I'm saying. Lord, have mercy. Verse 14. Verse 14. 
Uh, I didn't come to give you no real theological exegy of the scripture. I'm just coming to bring you to remembrance. Because Paul told Timothy, put them in remembrance. Lord, have mercy. I'm putting you in remembrance of what God has already said. Lord, have mercy. See, the world and it's just creeped in the church. About your haters. Cut off your haters. Lord, have mercy. Kill folk off. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, do, uh, do this, that, and the other. That's the world's view. God said, love your enemies. Pray for them that uh, despitefully use you and persecute you. Lord, have mercy. That's what the word of God says. Lord, he didn't say to kill them. Lord, did to get even with them, to cut them off. Lord, have mercy. You might be the only positive influence in their life. Lord, have mercy. But you steady cutting folk off. You so, you, you so arrogant. You so prideful. You just want folk around you that's going to love you, speak well of you. Lord, have mercy. But that one person that's probably giving you hell, you may be the only influence in their life of God. Help me, hold, but you steady cutting folk off. Lord, have mercy. If you was real the way you say you real, you just going to live holy and let them see the God in you. So they'll know that it's not them, Lord, that, 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 you, that will bring them, you down. Lord, have mercy, but the God in you will keep raising you up. Thou shalt not kill, y'all. Lord, have mercy. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thou shalt not commit adultery. If you married to him, Lord, have mercy. Uh, you ain't got no business in nobody else's bed. Lord, have mercy. Lord, help me, Jesus. Uh, 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 this sexual revolution that started in the 70s and still going on in 2020. Lord, have mercy. Uh, it's just gotten more perverted. It's gotten more. Y'all not going to help me. Uh, 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 stay in your own husband or wife's bed. Lord, have mercy. Uh, if you are not married to them, Lord have mercy, you don't have any business having sexual relations to, with them. Lord have mercy, that physically or in your lustful mind. Lord have mercy, I believe the scripture says, if you even think about it, Lord have you've already committed adultery in your heart. Y'all not going to help me in here. Lord have mercy. And that's not only in the physical realm. Lord have mercy uh, of husband and wife. Lord have mercy. But we are the bride of Christ. Help me up here and hear Jesus. Lord have mercy. And we commit adultery on God with all these other idols. With all of these other false gods. Lord have we go a whoring after other gods. I believe the scripture Scripture tells us, Lord, have mercy. That's what Israel did. They went a hoeing after other gods. When they got the Almighty, when they got the God of the universe on their side, we follow, we praise, we worship Jehovah. Lord, have mercy. But we follow after the God of prestige. We still follow it. We in the bed of the God, mammon. Lord, have mercy. We in the bed. Lord, have mercy. We're politics. We in the bed. Y'all not going to help me with all these other gods. Help me, Holy Ghost. We commit adultery on our uh, uh, husband. Y'all not going to help me up in here. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Y'all didn't expect me to go that way, but I'm going to bring it where we are. Lord, have mercy. We go a hoeing after other gods. And then want to come back on Sunday and say, praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I love you more. That's what we do with in the physical way and with our husbands. Lord, we done cheated. We done laid and slept with somebody else. And then we come because it's paycheck day. 
I'm getting ready to run. Lord have mercy, it's paycheck day. And now, honey baby sugar pie, you are the only one for me. Y'all not going to help me up in here. Foolishness, as the Nigerians would say, nonsense. Lord have mercy, help me, holy ghost. Woo, God. Number 15, verse 15. Thou shalt not steal. I'm going to make it plain and simple. If it doesn't belong to you, leave it alone. Lord have mercy. Woo! Thou shalt not steal. I'm just putting us in remembrance. Thou shalt not steal. If it's not yours, Leave it. Uh, well, I think it'll be, she won't mind. That, that's stealing. If she didn't give you permission, Lord have mercy, he didn't give you permission. It is not yours. Leave it alone. Lord have mercy. That's why you committing adultery. It ain't yours. You're stealing. Leave it alone. Alone, Lord have mercy. I don't understand these side pieces. Lord have mercy. If it ain't yours, leave it alone. If he ain't sign his name on the paperwork saying that you are his wife, it ain't yours. Lord have mercy. Leave it alone. Lord have mercy. Side pieces. Uh, you stealing. You are in somebody else's pasture. You are in somebody else's pot. It doesn't belong to you. Lord have mercy. Help me Holy Ghost. Men, if she is not your wife, leave it alone. Lord have mercy. Leave it alone. Thou shalt not steal. Whether she married or not, she ain't married to you. If you messing with her, Lord have mercy, you're stealing her from the one God created her for. Help me, hold y'all gonna help me in a minute. Lord have mercy. You're stealing. You're taking something that doesn't belong to you. Lord have mercy. One wife at a time. One husband at a time. Lord, have mercy. Lord, if it ain't yours, it's stealing. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 16. Y'all going to love me in a minute. Lord, have mercy. Uh, well, if you don't, that's all right. God said you still got to love me. <laughs> Woo! Verse 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Help me, Holy Ghost. Let me make it plain again. Lord, have mercy. Stop the lies. Lord, have mercy. You're bearing false witness. Lord, have mercy. Stop the lies. Lord, have mercy. You know, as we when we were growing up, I couldn't even say that word. Mama, daddy, them, they, that grandma, them, they, you, that was a cuss word. You didn't say lie. <laughs> Lord have mercy, but we it's so common now, Lord have mercy, that lie is not even, Lord have mercy, that we don't even bat an eye, Lord have, because folk lie so much now, Lord have mercy, you got to call it out, Lord, that's untrue, anything that is untrue is a lie, stop bearing false witness, Lord have mercy, you don't know it to be a fact, Lord have mercy, you wasn't there, you didn't hear it, stop repeating. Lord have mercy, because you're bearing false witness. I don't care who said it. Lord have mercy, if you wasn't there to witness it, Lord have mercy, I think they call it in court hearsay. Lord have mercy, bearing false witness. Just because such and such said it, they going to say what they say from their perspective. Lord have mercy, you don't know truth. Lord, have mercy. So if you don't know the truth, just keep it. Lord, have mercy. It don't need to be said. Stop bearing false witness. Stop lying. Stop look, trying to cover up your foolishness. Stop trying. Y'all y'all not go help me up in here. Stop uh, 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 trying to cover up. Lord,
Lord, have mercy, uh, uh, trying to weasel your way out of stuff. Lord, have mercy, where well, it was just a little small lie. It was a little white lie. I don't care if the color was pink, purple, blue, orange, polka dot, stripe. Lord, have mercy, a lie is a lie is a lie. If it's untrue, is a lie. Y'all not going to help me. Some of us don't understand that it is a lie. Lord have mercy. Woo! Help me, Holy Ghost. Some of us don't even know what a lie is no more. Lord have mercy. You done lied so much, you don't even know what the truth really is. Lord have mercy. Stop it. That's a spirit. Cast that spirit out of you. Lord, have mercy. the preacher shouldn't have to go and lay hands on you and cast out that demon. Lord, have mercy. You say you love God. Cast it out your own self. God, I don't know where this lying tongue has come from, but God, you clean my mouth. God, you wash my mind. Help me to speak your oracles. Help me to speak truth only. If I can't tell the truth, help me just not to say nothing. Help me, Holy Ghost. I hope I'm teaching somebody today. I hope somebody is listening today. Lord, have mercy. We, we, we got a president of the United States that just lie just to be lying. Lord, have mercy. Who just say untruths, Lord, without, Lord, it's just a part of him. It don't even make no sense. And then the people follow. The people are caught up. Lord, have mercy. The scripture told us we going to be in a day that they will rather believe a lie than the truth. Lord, have mercy. The truth of God's word. The truth, the facts of the matter. Lord, have mercy. We got to go back and begin to start saying the truths, the facts. Lord, have mercy. So that we can cast down every lie that exalted itself. Uh, Lord have mercy. Because that's an evil imagination. Lies are evil imaginations. Help me Holy Ghost. And it cannot exalt itself. The, I think the scripture tells us. That a liar will not tarry in his sight. He didn't even say the, whole, the, the homosexual won't tarry in my sight. He said the liar. Help me, Holy Ghost. Woo, God. I believe he said that all liars going to be cast into the lake of fire. God hates a liar. Why are we loving lies so much? Why are we so eager to spread lies, spread untruths? We don't even know it. But just because somebody say they saw whatever, you don't know what they actually saw. Lord, have, they don't even know what they actually saw. Lord, have mercy. Well, you know, he was his car was over such and such a house, you know, about 4 o'clock in the morning. How you know? What you doing up at 4 o'clock in the morning? Lord, have mercy. You revealing your own self. Help me, Jesus. You don't know if somebody borrowed his car. Help me, Holy Ghost. See, we we so quick to go jump to conclusions and then spread untruths and destroy uh, 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 characters, destroy reputations because of what we thought we saw. Yes, I'm. I got a, a indignant uh, 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 indignation right now. Lord, have mercy. A righteous indignation. That's what I got. Lord, have mercy. Because this foolishness has got to stop. We talk too much. Lord, have mercy. Don't you know liars talk? They, they, they so busy. they out talking you. Lord, have mercy. They just talk too much. Help me, Holy Ghost. Let me go on to verse 17. I know I done made some folk mad because you're lying. Lord, have mercy. Yes, I'm going to call you out. Stop the lies. Lord, have mercy. if you want to tarry with God, your Lord, you can't be a liar. 
ask for deliverance. Ask for God to uh, uh, deliver you from that demon. Lord have mercy. Uh, ask, ask like Isaiah. Lord have mercy. Put the coal on my tongue. Lord have mercy. So that I can talk righteously. So that I can talk the oracles of God. Lord have mercy. You done lied so much when God gives you truth to say, folk ain't going to believe it. Help me, Jesus. Verse 17, let me move on. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbors. Lord have mercy. Stop wanting what everybody else got. Lord have mercy. You can't keep up with the Joneses. You can't keep up with the Walkers. You can't keep up with the Berries. You can't keep up with the Scots. Lord have mercy. If it's for you, you will get it. Lord have mercy. But you don't know the hell folk went through to get what they got. You coveting what they got materially. But are you going to covet their warfare? Are you going to covet, covet their tears they cry at night? Are you going to covet their humiliations that they had to endure? Are you going to covet, Lord have mercy, the loss that they had to accept before they could gain? Are you going to covet all of what they got? Lord have mercy. The Bible says, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Lord have mercy. Or husband. Let, let me make it plain. Lord have mercy. Nor his manservant. Nor his maidservant. Lord have mercy. They might be able to afford to have a cleaning service to come in to their house. Stop coveting. Get, get in there and get you some Clorox and clean. Lord have mercy. Lord help me Holy Ghost. Uh, you don't know uh, uh, what the maid and servant and the man servant doing. Lord have mercy. Uh, they might can hire you somebody, but they might be tearing up the house. Next thing you know, the wife having sleeping with the lawn man. The, next thing you know, the husband Lord got the, the maid pregnant. Y'all not going to help me up in here. Stop coveting stuff. Lord have mercy. Just keep what God gave you clean. Keep what God get, gives you in order in 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 y'all not going to help me up in here y'all done stop talking to me uh did I did I did I make y'all mad i'm sorry lord have mercy uh, uh no i'm not sorry i'm just going to tell you what god said lord have mercy nor his ox nor his ass nor anything that's thy neighbors you cannot keep up with the neighbors Lord have mercy. If you're faithful with what God has given you, God could help you to exceed your neighbor. But if you got the wrong spirit, Lord have mercy, I'm in competition. Lord, have, they got their Christmas lights up. I'm going to put mine up. I'm going to put more. We going to have the biggest, brightest house. Lord have mercy. And nobody in the neighborhood can sleep because you got all them lights on. Lord have mercy. Uh, you go, you go out do your neighbor. He got nice green grass. You gonna go and you gonna make your grass greener and thicker. Lord have mercy. Now your water bill double cause you trying to keep up with the help me holy ghost up in here. Lord have mercy. You trying to keep up with the Joneses. Lord have mercy. And here the Joneses are on the verge of bankruptcy. The Joneses are on the verge of divorce. And you trying your hardest, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Lord have mercy where God has blessed you with the house of peace. God has blessed you with the house that you can pay your bills. Lord have mercy where that you can come and relax. Lord have mercy. It might not be a $500,000 house, but it's a house that you can lay your head at night and go to sleep in peace. 
Help me, Jesus. Thou shalt not covet. Stop being so jealous. Stop being so envious of other folk. Lord, how coveting their gifts, coveting their anointing. You don't know what it took for them to get where they are in God. You want the gift, but you don't want the warfare. You want the anointing, but you don't want, Lord, how what it takes, Lord, how the anointing does not come down uh, uh, from lightning in the sky. It takes, it, it is birth out of experience. You're not re- ready. You're not willing to go through what you need to go through to have the gifts and the anointings what God has blessed another with. God can't trust you with it. You'll get arrogant. You'll start, Lord, you'll be like Moses. Instead of speaking to the people, you'll be ready to hit folk. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. He can't trust you with that kind of anointing. He can't trust you, Lord, have mercy, with that kind of gifting. Stop coveting what everybody else. Do what God has given you, what he's placed in your hand. Grow your own tree. Mature your own tree. Lord, have mercy. You don't know who you go feed from your tree. Help me, Holy Ghost. You may be feeding the next president of the United States from your tree. Lord, have mercy. But you so busy coveting somebody else's tree. Lord, have mercy. And neglect your own tree so when they eat of your tree, they get sick and die. I hope I'm helping us because we too busy looking at them, coveting other things, coveting other ministries. I want a ministry like so-and-so. Well, are you ready to go through the hell so-and-so is going through with his members? Lord, have mercy with her members. Lord, the more people you got, the more personalities you got to blend together. Lord, have mercy. The more warfare, Lord, have the more personalities that will clash. Lord, to keep peace in the household. Lord, have mercy. To keep peace in the house of God. Y'all not going to help me, but you too busy coveting what that. I want a 500 member church too. I want, you better take your 10 and pour into them and watch God, Lord, have from that 10 expand. Lord, from that, from who they uh, uh, minister to, they expand. Lord, have mercy. And you can have your 500, my member, Lord have mercy, but you just work with your 10. Y'all not going to help me. That 500 member church might be having church on Sundays, Lord, but they have no impact in the community. They have no impact in the city. They have no impact. You coveting something that's dead. Yeah, help me, Jesus. You better be satisfied with what you got. Lord, have mercy. It may look good, but I believe God said uh, to one of the churches, but you're dead. Hey, God, but it's dead. It looked good, but it's dead. And you want to be like them. You want to be, Lord, have mercy. Take your little and it can become much if you nourish what you have. And stop coveting. Lord, have mercy. Stop looking at everybody else. Lord, have mercy. Wish I had a bank account like them. See, you don't know what they go through. Everybody pulling on them for money. Lord, have everybody. Lord, have They're scammers. Lord, have mercy. Trying to get what they have. Help me, Holy Ghost, and you coveting. I wish I could win the lottery. Are you ready to go through that warfare? Are you ready for cousin so-and-so that you ain't never heard of? Say, can can I hit you up? Lord, have mercy. We coveting things. Lord, have mercy. That we don't know what the end result will be. It will take us out of God, and we don't even know it. Be satisfied with what we have. Help me, Jesus. 
Lord have mercy. That's the word of God for today. We have gone through the Ten Commandments. Lord have mercy. I pray that these two uh, um, lessons on the Ten Commandments has been a help, has brought us back into remembrance, has brought us to a place where we get back to the Word of God and not listen to what the sinners is trying to tell the church what to do. But that we are hear God and that we will uh, 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 hear what God is trying to tell his people. Get back to my word. Come back to the plumb line. Get realigned with me. Ten commandments. Lord have mercy. They, he has not uh, 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 done away with the commandments. Lord have mercy. But Jesus came to fulfill the commandments. Lord have mercy. Now we got the Holy Ghost to help us walk it out. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ten commandments. Let us, uh, as as in my bap in my Baptist roots, govern ourselves accordingly. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I pray that you've been blessed. Uh, pray that you all will have a great day. Uh, that you will have a a, a prosperous day and that we will remember this word. Remember these teachings. Go back and listen to them every now and then. Share them on your Facebook page. If I've helped, if this word that the Lord allows me to give helps you, share it with somebody so they can hear, so they can be edified, so they can be lifted. Lord, Hammer, let's not be covetous and keep it to ourselves. Let's not, uh, Lord, have mercy, uh, be stingy with what we have. Lord, have mercy, but let us share it in Jesus' name. I love each and every one of you to life. I look forward to seeing you on next Tuesday at the 7 a.m. hour with Overcoming with Pastor Irma. Pray for me and pray my steadfastness in the Lord. God bless you and have a prosperous day.